So I'm continuing with question 7B, November 2018. The instructions is retrieve the document 7A. So after 7A, you're going to proofread, you're going to print, and then you're going to save it. You don't have to close it because then you don't have to retrieve it. So it's either or if you close it, you, you'll have to retrieve it. They're saying the second instruction is change question 7A to 7B. Make all the changes as indicated on the spreadsheet according to the instructions below. Now on the next page you will see there is a guideline with instructions and manuscript signs. So I, which is the Sevilla, so I'll be starting with the manuscript signs and the first one is the heading it must be size 18 which I've changed it must be bold and must be italics uh, there should be an open row between row 1 and row 2 so I click on 2 right mouse button click and insert that's how I insert the row weekly payments should be size 14 and bold so I'm going to change this to size 14 and it needs to be bold open row and week should be bold so I click on B for bold now by tariff normal time tariff per hour there is you need to insert a total so I click on the row heading D the column heading D, right mouse button click and insert and I type in total in capital letters. We have hours worked, over here should be insert tariff, enter per hour, the next one is total and this should be gross salary. Okay, so this should be in small letters and hours worked is there and they're saying this information over here should be centered so I'm going to click on center and the heading weekly payments and week should be merged and centered now you highlight across to H to where gross salary is merge and center and you have to do it individually as well you can't highlight the whole range and merge and center and merge and center merge and center okay open row over there and then here should be number of employees and that answer should be over there by E as indicated on the next page as well. Okay, so that covers that. Then they say by instruction 3.1, sort the names with corresponding figures alphabetically. So you're going to highlight all of this over here. And under Home, you can see A to Z. So I click on A to Z and I'll sort from. A to Z so it's an alphabetical order you can see the numbers have changed with the names insert horizontal and vertical lines using the method indicated so next to bold is a grid click on the grid you first choose your line style and then you're gonna draw your lines And then let's say insert the columns, 3.3, .3, insert the columns and text as indicated on the spreadsheet. In, insert the 3.4 is insert formula where the letters and the alphabet, alphabet appears. Do the following A, which is normal time with this over here. So normal time would be the total equals tariff per hour multiplied by the hours work. So it's equal to the tariff per hour times by the hours worked enter 
and I'll drag that across. Uh, tariff per hour, overtime tariff per hour is the normal time, so it's equal to. Now this is a tricky one. Normal time tariff per hour multiplied, so it's bot math, so it's equal to the normal tariff per hour plus open brackets the normal tariff per hour times 2,5 remember we're working with commas 2,5 close the bracket and enter then C over time the total is tariff per hour multiplied by the hours worked so it's equal to tariff per hour times hours worked press enter and you drop down D gross salary is normal time plus overtime so this is equal to total your normal time plus overtime total enter so that is the gross salary now when you drag it down e the number of employees using the built-in function to determine the number of the employees so the answer should be over there the number of employees is count formula so equal to count halfway through typing count count appears now count a is for text and count is for numbers so this is the range that we need to calculate so I'm gonna use count double click there's a bracket appears you just highlight the range shift and zero close the bracket and enter so the answer is six copy the formula number four copy the formula to the other cells as indicated on the spreadsheet so we have copied the cells the answers down as indicated display all monetary values as currency two decimal places all other numbers are as integers so tariff per hour and total these are all rand so we don't use accounting we use currency which is the r sign and all this over here should be currency as well the rand sign adjust the column width to the spreadsheet if it's on one landscape page now this is still on portrait so I'm gonna go to page layout I'm gonna go to orientation and I'm gonna go to landscape so now it's in landscape save the question as 7b print the spreadsheet with row and column with row and column headings and place the printout in your examination folder uh, this also needs to be the center so it's file, print, this is without row and column headings, so I am going to go to page setup, put it to sheet, row and column headings, and I click on OK, this is row and column headings. The first and the second instruction I haven't done, so you can go to insert, header footer, examination number stays the same, and question 7a changes to 7, 